YouTube, what's up guys? Hey, hope everyone's having a great day. Back at it, YouTube content. Took a little break there, but we're back with more good stuff. So this is gonna be a Toyota Celica GTS video with no Toyota Celica GTS in it at all. Um, so this is boxing, unboxing part two. So I already did this with a lot of stuff. I think I did it with like an exhaust, uh, all the mods that I did before. And I've done about 20 mods, uh, modifications to my 2004 Toyota Celica GTS. So 2ZZ six speed manual, um, made 20 modifications on it. That's a lot. Uh, I got about 20 to 30 more, maybe even 50 more. Um, so I'm gonna do a new unboxing today. So I'm gonna show you guys what came in the mail, where we're at and what we're working on. Um, late night video, so I'm really excited. Uh, there, I'm not gonna go get in the car or drive around or anything or do any edits, so I'm just gonna show you the stuff that I got. Uh, make sure to hit the like button, and of course I wanna do a free giveaway on this one. Um, so I have extra parts and I have two of them. I have two extra parts uh, from my, to or my Toyota, from my Lotus Exige, Elise, Exige, Elise, whatever this is. Uh, and I'm gonna give them away. But this one, you do have to participate. So you have to swing by MitchDeRay.com uh, and you can buy anything on the website. So it can be like a four or five dollar thing or it can be a hundred dollar thing, whatever you buy. But you're entered to win and I'll pick someone at the end of this week. So it's Tuesday for you guys, so by Friday I'll announce two winners, not just one, but two winners um, from this video. So you have to stay all the way to the end though and I'll tell you what you're gonna get. So let's jump into the first unboxing. Let's okay, so the first thing I got from my Toyota Celica are these. These are tiny little lift bolts. So these are the first thing that I got. Um, I really like these. Why do I like these so much and why are they so important? Uh, because what they say right there is 2ZZGE. They make lift hit a lot harder. Toyota OEM lift bolt. Here's the part number if you guys need them. These are from my favorite monkeywrenchracing.com. These are not sponsored, but I am sponsored from Monkey Wrench Racing. Um, use the discount code MDORE when you go there or tell them that Mitch sent you and ask for a discount code. Um, these are amazing. So look at these right here. You guys see those? They're brand new lift bolts. I can't wait to do a video to show you guys how to install those. It'll make the VVTLI kick a little bit harder. So those did come in the mail. So the first thing that we're opening is new lift bolts. We'll do a video for that. The next thing that came in the mail is oil. So uh, Castrol uh, 5W30 oil. That's what I run in my car. So a big uh, five liter, five liter. <laughs> Mitch, what's going on, man? Five quarts. So I got five quarts of oil. This is what I'll be using. I actually don't have an um, oil filter yet, but I'll probably be using a Toyota OEM one um, or a K&N one, either one of those, K&N or um, OEM. Those are the two that I like uh, for the Toyota 2ZZ engine. So K&N or OEM, but here's the oil that I use. So that did come in the mail. So the next one came from Superclass right here. As you guys can see, look at this. This is gonna be specific for the Toyota Celica. So for Celica, uh, this is brand new. I'm really excited for this. Uh, these are bushings, um, and then these are extended bolts. What is it for? It's for the new short shifter from Superclass. So Superclass sent me this out. Um, it was sponsored by them. Superclass is honestly the nicest company to work with, with really, 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 really high quality parts. Um, not kidding, very nice stuff. So look at this. So this is gonna fit for Toyota Celica uh, GT and I believe GTS. Wow, look at that. He made this. Um, this is a retainer for the boot. Um, he also came with, so this is gonna be the short shifter. Look at that. Um, the one that's on my website currently is straight and this one has an angle in it. So I'm really excited to see the outcome of this and um, what we have to do to get this bad boy installed and I'll give a review, but uh, I'll do a step-by-step -step for it, but I'm really, really excited to install this. This is sponsored by Superclass. Um, so that's the next one, a short shifter for my Celica. Even though I already have one in there, we're gonna try another one. To get maybe a different result, maybe a better one. I'll let you guys know, but I'm really excited to try this and I'm very thankful for Superclass. In the same box, he also gave me, sponsored by, and you guys will be able to purchase this as well. Um, I've always had Superclass in my link, so if you guys want his, his um, or their website's uh, information. It's in one of the links down below, super class shift knobs. Look at this. So this is their uh, famous shift knob. Oh my gosh, this thing has got some weight on it. Holy smokes. And absolutely beautiful. Look at that, absolutely beautiful. So if you want an OEM-like shift knob, here you go. 
It is just, I, I highly recommend these. Uh, I love that he has a laser etch too, because our cars, the GTSs are specific, where it has a reverse over here. So very, very cool. I like this. I'm excited to show you guys how to install this. Uh, I probably will do just one video for the entire thing, including the shift knob. Um, and then I'll, I'll rock that for a little while, but I'm very thankful. So here is that beautiful piece, a nice unboxing of that. Um, we'll put all that back in here from Superclass. I'm gonna put that one and move on. All right, big box, big box. This one's from MitchStory.com, so my website. I do have these back in stock. I got a big order all from overseas. I'm really, really excited they all came back in. So this is um, sponsored, obviously, because it's from my website, <laughs> so self-sponsored. Uh, Cold air intake, that gains proven horsepower because I have a dyno of it, um, gains horsepower and torque, proven. Um, I can't wait to do a dyno again on my new Celica. Um, so I do have proven dyno to show that this gains horsepower. So it comes with the K&N um, air filter, a real K&N air filter, very cool one too. Look at the size of that. So here's the air filter, it's really cool. I really like it, it does a really, really good job. Um, k and real product from k and you can get this on my website. Um, so air filter, and then I'm gonna unbox and actually show you guys the rest of the stuff that comes in your kit. This is all available, this whole thing is available on my website, mystery.com. If you want some proven gained horsepower on stock ECU, you don't even have to do anything to tune it. Look at that. So, this is the cold air intake. Um, it wraps around pretty much like that right here. It fits all of the uh, Celica GTs and GTSs. I really, really like this thing. Um, beautiful piece, it looks awesome. It's all wrinkled black. It's one piece, it's not separated. Uh, it, I really, really like this thing. As you guys can see here, I love the wrinkled black. It does mount to the OEM, so it fits the OEM. Uh, Everything pretty much fits OEM. I'll show you guys how to do an install on this soon, but you don't have to get a ECU tune. Um, in addition to that, you get the couplers uh, and you get the mounting hardware. All that is included right here um, from mitchray.com. So I will be doing that. Those did come in and it comes with the K&N filter to gain horsepower for your Celica GT or GT. So that's from mitchray.com. So that is sponsored. Um, I will be installing that one on this next one. I may or may not be installing this one. And let me grab the next one. Okay, the next part is a um, dash cam mirror. Uh, I got sponsored for this. Um, I'll probably put the link in below for this on this video. Uh, I don't know if I will install this or not. Why? Um, well, first off, this is really nice because it's one of those mirrorless or edgeless mirrors. Look at that. So an edgeless mirror, pretty cool. Um, but this is sponsored. It, I believe, just clicks onto your existing mirror. I'm not sure, I'll have to figure it out how it works. Uh, it has a camera right here, and it has a rear, so it's a reverse camera and a recording camera um, from, I think it's, how do you say this, Akaso. Uh, they offered me to do a sponsor deal, and they said, hey, we'll send one out to you. Do you want to put it on your videos? I'm putting it on my videos. Will I install this? I'm probably, maybe or maybe not, maybe I will. The only reason I wouldn't install this um, is because I like to have my interior pretty OEM-ish, but I think that this will look really OEM, so I'm actually tempted to do it. Um, hardware does not seem that hard at all, to be honest. Not that hard at all. Like, that's all the wires it is. Um, pretty cool. So I might do that. Comment down below, Mitch, hey, um, should you should I install this yes or no so that that's you know think you know answer that should I install this uh, rear view camera for the Celica or okay so the next one um, is for a part that I've already dropped off at paint um, so a little bit of update on the Celica I dropped the TRD high style spoiler off to get it painted um, and then I also removed the chrome hatch uh, handle on the back of the Celica and I dropped that off to get painted as well one I needed him to match the color So he needed a piece of the car of the thundercloud to match it I guess Toyota has like four different colors of thundercloud with that code number So he didn't know which one it was pretty interesting. I didn't know that um, So I brought in that hatch cover and what he's gonna do is paint the chrome spot all black and then re-hit the um, The part where it says Celica and thundercloud so it looks brand new uh, So I did drop that off but to go on the Celica spoiler, I also got this. So this is a very large lip extension for the um, Celica. 
So I'll do, I have this on my MR2 currently um, and I really like it. It does come with in claps, caps right here. So if I wanted to use that, but I probably won't. I'll probably do it like the same one I did last time. Now the difference is, is this you can buy and it already comes gloss black. It's not rubber, which is kind of cool. Cause I had my last one painted and then I installed it. This one came online already. You can pay a little bit more and it'll come painted in gloss black. I think it'll be very similar matching. I hope it's similar matching. The paint quality on it's, mm, it's not the best. It's okay, like right here there's a little scuff. Um, but it'll look really good and I'm excited. So that's the next one. That's what came in one of the really, really big boxes. Okay, so now it's time for the giveaway. So what I'm gonna be giving away, um, all you have to do is swing by my website and grab something, anything, like I said. I'm gonna be giving away these original Lotus uh, face plates because I um, have a different face plate. I have the Exige one that I showed you guys how to install. So if you want one of these, um, I have two sets of these. If you guys want one of these face plates, um, I'm gonna just give them away. You know what they look really cool on? I kinda wanna keep them myself, but if you just put them on your wall, that's kinda cool. I know a lot of people want to have like a, a part of a Lotus or something like a Lotus badge. The Lotus's badges sell for, like front nose badge, sell for like $150. This is a little badge, crazy. Um, but if you guys want one of these badges, or these badges, you want one of these face plates, uh, all you have to do is swing by uh buy anything on there, and then by Friday, um, Friday at let's say 1 p.m., I'll choose the winner, and um, or the two winners, because I have two of them. So, and then I'll go ahead and mail these out. Pretty cool. Um, look, or if you guys look over quick over here, you guys can see that I have that black face plate now, and I guess I showed you guys how to install that. Very cool, very beautiful. I'm loving my Lotus interior. Uh, I need to, I cannot wait to go and drive this thing some more. Um, I do need to work on the clam. Uh, it's, that's a weekend project, that's not like a daily project. So I will be doing that as well. Uh, but all you have to do is swing by missionary.com, buy something, you're entered, you don't have to comment or anything. Um, please comment, please hit the like button. Um, but I will uh, ship those two out on Friday. So if you guys want one, um, all you have to do is buy something from my website. So those are the things that I've bought so far. The last thing that I have is another sponsored car, diagno di car diagnostic scanner. Um, so I got a lot of sponsored stuff on this video. Um, if you guys want to picture stuff up, I'll have all the links down below, but I will be installing this. Uh, I'll probably be installing it when I get my car on the dyno again. What it does, it's like having a, a Pepsi Commander, um, but without the Pepsi, I can just see it on my cell phone. So I'm really cool to plug that in and show you guys how that car diagnostic um, and scanner works at the same time. It's an OB2, so it'll tell you kind of how much fuel is going into it. It'll tell you the knock level. Maybe it'll tell you the knock level. I don't know, we'll look if it has knock level. Um, it'll tell you probably the injector duty. It'll tell you the temperature. Um, pretty much everything the ECU can read, it'll just read it up on your phone. So I'm really excited to show you guys that. Um, that is sponsored. Uh, other than that, guys, I hope you're enjoying the Celica content. I know that I don't actually have the car in this video. <laughs> this is like the Celica video with no Celica in it. Um, but there's a lot of things coming. Be patient with the build. Um, I put on my Instagram recently that I said, uh, build loading in progress, you know, be patient. Uh, the, big, the big thing that's gonna make the car look really good is when I get tent on it, and I think that'll really transform it, and when I put the TRD uh, high style spoiler and the matching color, those are when the car's gonna start looking really good. Uh, I do think I am gonna put um, some window rain seals on it to make the car look a little bit lower, and then I do think I am gonna go back to the Celica GTS wheels. Um, so if you want the FR West wheels, they are for sale, $750. Uh, comes with brand new Toyo um, Extenza uh, HP2 tires, like they're perfect. I've driven like 40 miles on them, haven't driven at all. So if anyone wants those, um, you can swing by my website, they're available there. Uh, you can DM me on Instagram, but those wheels are available as well. Uh, more stuff for the channel. So the things I'm gonna be focusing on is fixing the front end of the Lotus. Uh, it still needs more love to get the clam mounted and then a lot more Celica content. Um, what else do I wanna do? I wanna fix a grommet on my, um, uh, the, what is that thing called? The timing chain sensor on my, um, on my MR2 Spider, there's an oil leak, so I'd like to do that. And then I would like to install a lot more horsepower things for the Evo, such as the cap, the uh, the um, downpipe, the weight, the downpipe with the screamer pipe, and the Grim Speed um, because I just did that new large intake on there, and then get a big dyno on it because the Evo just gets down. Um, I just if you guys watch my <laughs> if you guys watch my uh, Instagram story, I just had a Camaro, um, uh, 335 horsepower V6 2017 Camaro. And I'm telling you guys, the Evo just is so quick and is built so much better than that car. I like American Muscles, they're fast, 
but quality on the Evo, oh my gosh, the Evo just handles amazing. I feel that way too with the Celica, to be honest. I love the way that how zippy the Celica feels. Again, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe. If you guys want those, uh, swingbymistery.com, grab anything, and I'll announce the winners at Friday at 1 p.m. I'll see you guys on the next video.